the Jamaican city Port Royal was cast into the water by an earthquake in 1692. At the time, it was the most wealthy city in the Western Hemisphere and the unofficial capital of Jamaica. Now it lies beneath the waves in partial ruin. As one of the most vital cities of the British Empire, millions worth in gold and silver are left within it, just waiting to be found. Archaeologists have been working hard in the city to uncover old houses, forts, castles, markets, and taverns. It was basically the pirating capital of the globe, meaning that treasure has been found from everywhere, everywhere from England to China. China's Lion City lies in the Qindao Lake and dates back to the Han Dynasty. It has been underwater for 50 years due to a strategically placed river dam. Preserved by 130 feet of water, the city remains intact and features some truly amazing architecture. Somehow Lion City became forgotten until it was recently rediscovered. The city was surrounded by five mountains, but now they are just small islands for obvious reasons. Ocean Spiral is the name of a planned underwater city set to be constructed by Japanese companies. The spiral structure will reach depths of 2.8 miles below the surface. Residential zones and business sectors will be built within a 1,640-foot giant sphere. The sphere will be at the top of the city, and at least 5,000 people will be homed here, with the first few possibly being homed in 15 years. Each city is predicted to cost a total of 3 trillion yen. The Lost Settlements of Ontario is the name given to 10 settlements that are now completely submerged. The villages were flooded when a nearby power dam was constructed. 6,500 people had to be moved, and parts of New York were also flooded on the American side of the river. Buildings can still be explored by divers, who often boast of scrap they've salvaged. So you've got that to look forward to if you like old junk. Suspected to be one of Europe's first residential neighborhoods, the 4,000-year-old city of Pavlo Petri is the most examined underwater city in the world. The visible foundations of the oldest known underwater city allow us to see what the place would have looked like. Simply known as Cleopatra's Palace are the remains of a long-flooded city. Just off the coast of Alexandria, it was hurled into the sea around 1500 years ago. Over 150 artifacts have been extracted, and Cleopatra's tomb is believed to have been located at the center. Little else is known, as the first full search of the site took place in the 90s. To be honest, if I found the underwater tomb of an ancient pharaoh who committed suicide, I'd go to great lengths to avoid entering it. This next one might not be real, but there's a good chance it is. Legend tells of a huge underwater city in North Wales. They say it was built around the palace of an evil prince, but it was flooded by a big storm in the 6th century. Many believe this tale to be more than just a myth. There is a local ridge known as Helic Palace. Surveys have located an underwater wall in the surrounding area. Could it be the submerged palace? The Yonaguni Monument is a rock formation underneath Japanese waters. Experts are divided on whether the site is natural or man-made, but many claim it to be the remains of an ancient underwater city. Geologists say it would have to have been built during the last ice age, when sea levels were over 100 feet lower. Traces of markings and drawings have been found on the 250-foot monument, as well as several pillars and pyramids. However, the monument has been featured on the TV show Ancient Aliens. 
which means it's probably just a big rock. The underwater Indian city of Dwarka was literally seen as a fairy tale. Until recently, almost no one believed in it. Said to boast 900,000 palaces made of crystal and silver, Hindu scripture has always taught that Dwarka was swallowed by the waves, never to be seen again. Not too long ago, archaeologists stumbled upon the city while unearthing an old temple. 70 feet beneath the waves, an ancient metropolis was found. City gates, walls, and a huge drainage system demonstrates its size. Eight years of excavation saw the discovery of a 550-foot fortification. Villa Epican was a tourist settlement in Argentina. It was home to over 5,000 people. But in 1985, a dam burst, which flooded the city. All but one resident left. He lives in a stone hut nearby. The water has recently receded, so you can now visit the entire settlement. Although it may freak you out, as it does look like some kind of post-apocalyptic nightmare.